The state of Washington will pay nearly $7 million for mistakes it made in the death of a little boy. Tyler DeLeon was 28 pounds when he died on his seventh birthday. His foster and adoptive mother is in prison for starving him to death. And now the state is settling with Tyler's foster brother, brothers and sisters. KXY 4's Eric Loney live in the newsroom with the story. Eric. Yeah, the proposed settlement was filed late this afternoon. It says that DSHS failed to protect Tyler DeLeon and his foster brothers and sisters from their foster mother even after the state received complaints about her. The proposed settlement pays for the, uh, pays the millions for the pain and suffering they endure and will endure in the future. Carol DeLeon is serving six years in prison for abusing two boys, including her adopted son, Tyler DeLeon. He died of dehydration in January 2005 on his seventh birthday. He weighed only 28 pounds. A state review revealed Carol de Leon withheld food and water from him. Tyler was often so thirsty he would drink from the toilet to get water. Records show the state took de Leon's own children away from her because of repeated abuse. But those records were destroyed, and then years later, the state placed Tyler and several other children in her care. Six months before the boy's death, the state determined the children in the de Leon home were at high risk for future abuse and neglect. But DSHS not only left Tyler and four other children in her care after that, they placed a three-month-old baby with her as well. Records show that DeLeon abused and neglected all the children. It says the rest of those children uh, will suffer emotional and, emotional and uh, mental issues for the rest of their life. It actually goes through each child, what they're going through and how long it will take them to deal with these issues. The suit also sued two doctors who saw Tyler, but the, the suit against those doctors continues. They're not involved in the settlement. And the proposed settlement says the attorneys who represented the surviving foster children will take home one-third of the $6.8 million settlement. Reporting live in the newsroom, Eric Loney, KXY4 HD News.